two big games today. We are in the south of France for a massive, massive derby against hated rivals Olympique de Marseille. And not the Nice game, as I said at the end of the last episode. Instead, we have the Coupe de France semi-final and we will be taking on Olympique Lyonnais in that one. Um, so two massive, massive games. You can see Lyon are currently five points clear of us at the top of Ligue 1. Uh, for some reason, they've played two games more than us. I don't know why. It's a bit, it's all a bit strange. Um, that Nice game has been moved yet again and we will now play them twice in, in just over a week. It's this home game here. It should originally have been played here when we took on Monaco, 14th of January. So it's finally, it looks like it's going to get played about five months later. Love that. Right, since the last episode when we did lose to Lyon, so a measure of revenge uh, aimed for today. Uh, we've been on a bit of a tear-up as usual. Uh, a Leon Bailey hat-trick helped us beat Nancy. Uh, French Cup quarter-final, uh, two from Kingsley Coman. And then Mbappe and Bailey uh, helped us pass Dijon. A very, very, very tight game at Angers. Uh, we finally got it over the line with a Mauro Icardi goal. Killing got a hat-trick against Shakhtar in the first leg of our first knockout round match. Um, away from home, so that one is done, done and dusted. And we beat Stadrim with a hat trick again from Yusuf Makoko, who is really, really starting to uh, find his feet at the club. He's really coming on leaps and bounds. Six goals in 12 games in the league. He's got another one in the French Cup as well. And I think, I think I'm starting him because we've got a bit of an injury worry. Uh, Kylian Mbappe is out, I believe. Neymar is out until tomorrow, so at least he'll be back for the semi-final. And Mbappe is out for about four days, so I don't think he's even going to make it back for the uh, for the semi-final. Um, so this is the team that we are going with. Um, I have gone with Makoko up front because he netted that hat trick. His confidence is sky high, and he is ahead of Mauro Icardi now in the in the pecking order. To be fair, um, we did sign a player. You've probably noticed him there. Uh, Unai Vencedor. Vencedor, he's, uh, he's Basque. He's from Athletic Club. Uh, they, they got him on deadline day. Had to pay his release clause. It was 62 million, which is just mental. But he is good. He's decent. Um, and he's going he's gonna to play today. Um, can play really any of those roles uh, in that midfield three. So I'm, I'm happy to have him on board. Um, and Athletic Club... I'll, this is what I like about it about FM. They are in real life. If you want one of their players, because obviously they have the Basque only policy, you pay the release clause. Otherwise, you ain't having them. Um, and that's you know that seems to be reflected in the game. I had it with not with the Athletic Club, but with uh, Real Sociedad in a previous series when I tried to get Alex uh, Alexander Isaac from uh, Real Sociedad. And I had to pay the 100 and something million release clause. It's just, I like it. I like the fact that they actually do insist on that. So that's that's one good thing that FM gets uh, gets right. Uh, big day all round. How many questions we're going to have here? It's a, just the two. I don't even know what I answered. I don't even know what the questions were. Um, Daniel Podence, Gabriel Martinelli. We should be beating them. We should be beating them. We did lose at home. At, uh, to them, it, Marseille were the team that took our 81 game unbeaten record, 83, whatever it was. Um, they beat us one nil in the Parc de Prince, didn't they? And it was it was a, it was an earlier episode of this series. So yeah, that was that was not good. But you generally, especially in the Velodrome, we absolutely batter them. I mean, we've we've hit five there on a couple of occasions, I think. Um, not even a shot and goal yet, though. This not good. This is not good. Right, let's demand more then. I don't know why we're struggling to get through that. It's not a massively defensive formation, but they clearly it, it, it's a um, they they must be playing defensively because they're not doing anything. And they're going to score now, aren't they? Oh, now I've said that. <laughs> I knew it was coming. It's offside. No, it's an own goal. I must have. It's come back off the post, hasn't it? And hit Jar Cancelo. Bullet header, yeah. Bullet header from Kaleta Sar. And, oh, I was going to berate, but let's see what happens here. Getting closer and closer and closer to that release of FM22 as well. 
seriously excited about it now. Cannot wait to get going on uh, on my first save. Really looking forward to it. There will be a video just teasing what it, well, not teasing, telling you what it's going to be. Uh, that'll be along in a few days' time um, as that cross comes in. And Martinelli, oh, that is a sensational header. And we are 2 nil down. And I think we can drop a berate in now. I mean, in fairness, you know, we don't have Neymar, we don't have Mbappe. Two of the best players in the world. Anybody is going to struggle missing those sort of players. Shouldn't be an excuse, though. We should still be better than this team. I've gone crazy at them, and we are kicking off. It's a little fly. I don't, don't, think, don't think I'm just doing this. Oh, what a goal, Kingsley Coleman. Yeah, don't think I'm just grabbing it thin air. There is a little stupid black fly flying around, and it's getting right in my face. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera. I guess not, because I'm down in the corner. Um, so I'm guessing it's not picking it up. It's annoying. That's a great hit. That is a great hit. Right. I should now be able to drop a little encourage in there. Get them fired up a bit. Brilliant individual goal. And it, it makes a half look pretty good, doesn't it? Four go uh, Three goals in four minutes. But we've only had three shots on goal. <laughs> so it's, it's not great. As Marquinhos hits that away. Cox uh, plays it down the line for a Jordan Amavi. Martinelli, great tackle. Oh, it's come back for Martinelli. And he's fired that one over. I am going to get into them at half-time, though. I'm going to absolutely roast them. I'm going to thrash arms. Far from pleased. See what that does. Highlight starting from the back for Marseille. Cuisance. Poor ball. Very... Oh! That was a... It just hit Vencedor, didn't it? But we've got it back. And it's in for Makoko. Oh, he's missed it. Well, he hasn't missed it. Mondonda saved it. He was on his weaker foot. He's left-footed, isn't he, Makoko? He couldn't get it onto his uh, his favoured foot. That's a terrible ball from Mariki. Uh, I wonder, could he just poke it with his left foot? A Cardi, I bet, would have scored that. I'm going to regret not having a Cardi in the in the starting lineup. I think. Going to make some changes anyway. Oh, got a highlight. We'll let it play out then. Let's see. Kingsley Coleman to Gaiar. Coleman. No, no. Get it. Right, build again. Verratti. Leon Bailey. Do something. Cancelo on the overlap. It's a corner. Cancelo desperate to make up for the own goal. Verratti to take the corner. Headed away. Is there a break on or is it the end of the highlight? It's the end of the highlight. Okay, right. Now it is time for some changes. Coleman is struggling. That's That's annoying. Because he's our best. Why does it always make your best player the one who's struggling? Uh, Florentino Luis has been booked. He's going to have to come off. And I'm going to bring on Camavinga. Um, do you know what? I'm going to bring Cardi on. I'm going to take Makoko off. I shouldn't have started him. Shouldn't have started him. And Asensio for Leon Bailey. Give team talk. Pump face. Go out there and make a difference to all of them. Oh, we've got a highlight. Did this start? I didn't see this highlight start. Leon Bailey, corner. That's probably just to get us the players on, I guess. Yeah, the players are on. I don't even know what that highlight was all about. Right. I'll encourage because we've got some new players on the pitch. It's not gone down particularly well. I was hoping that would fire them up, motivate them. It hasn't done. Kings of Coleman scored that brilliant goal and he's only got a 6.9. Oh, there we go. Heard me. It's a terrible game. Berate. They seem to they seem to like being uh, being roasted at the minute. This is a shockingly bad game. I probably should have changed our approach, but we're PSG, and I'm kind of you know, I'm kind of arrogant like that. We're going to go three nil down, three one down here. Oh, this has been a terrible season. A really, really terrible season. It's 
for another defeat. That's Leon that have beaten us, and that's Marseille that have now done the double over us. Fire up. That's worked. They've scored it. Well, they haven't scored every shot on target, have they? Because one was an own goal. Um, not good. That's a lovely ball to Coman. Oh, he's taking everyone on. Oh! I was willing him to score there. What a run. <laughs> that would have been a brilliant, brilliant goal. But the presence of mind to just pull it back for Icardi there would have been better. Well, I think there's some water bottles in serious, serious danger. Probably going to get Leon Bailey or someone come crying at me now because of the team talk. Right, the title is not in our hands. This is an interesting season. It's terrible, but it's interesting. Hmm. Not good. Not good at all. And it's actually our fourth defeat. I forgot we lost away at Monaco as well. It's our fourth defeat of the league season. Wow. That is some drop-off from the last two seasons when we didn't lose a single game. Right. Leon in town. And all of a sudden, I have a feeling we're going to get beaten again in the Coupe de France semi-final. Well, look at that. Leon did us a huge favour and they also lost their Liga match in preparation for the semi-final. They lost away on Angers, uh, which means that it's back in our hands now. Two games in hand, five points behind. Phew, bit of a relief. Obviously, Marseille are right back in there as well after uh, tonking us. Um, so, yeah, we will get on to this game. Um, made a few changes. Kylian Mbappe is back. So is Neymar. Uh, and Herrera, we've got a few players suspended. Uh, Joao Cancelo, Camavinga and Florentino Luis all suspended. Uh, Locatelli is still out injured. Um, and yeah, it's a few changes made because of awful performances as well. So I'm hoping home advantage makes it look at that eight changes from the last game. I'm hoping home advantage carries us home. Um, and yeah, we get to the final. I can't remember who the other semi-final is. I should have kind of paid attention to that. Um, I don't think they've played yet. Right, point finger. No, a lot of you will be keen to avenge what happened when we lost. And we have lost to them on penalties in last season's Coupe de France semi-final, which was on the channel. Early highlight then, in the first minute, in fact. Headed away. Denea will get to that. Well, I thought Mbappe might have stolen that. It's back with Anthony Lopez. Cleared up field. Neymar's got it now though. And he's on his way into the box. And I think that's going to be given, you know. I reckon that might be given. It is a penalty. What a start this could be. No idea who's taken it. It is Neymar. Oh, keeper goes the right way. But Neymar is back in the team and back with a goal. Bang on two minutes. Expertly dispatched. Feel sorry a little bit for Lopez. He went the right way. But he didn't get anywhere near it. Um, is it too early to drop a praise? Yeah, probably. <laughs> but we'll do it. I want to I want a spank in here. I want to absolutely put them in the ground. I really do. I want to bury them here. I've, I've, I'm aware I have jinxed it by saying that. But here's John Stones. Lovely ball out to Vindal. In it goes. Oh, it's going to drop for Asensio. Oh, that's a big chance. Came at him quick. And he's not right-footed, to be fair to him. If that had fallen to Neymar and Mbappe out there, fancy he might have, uh, they might have put that one away, even as quick as it came at him. 
come on. A bit of a subdued performance again. We're getting absolutely bossed on the possession. Verratti is intercepted. Asensio tries to play down the channel, but it's an awful pass. But it's a rushed clearance, and we're back with Asensio. And you've got Ricardo on the overlap. And it's a terrible pass out to him from Asensio. Awful pass. But they are just hurriedly clearing it and just cannot get out. And it's Ricardo again. In it goes. And Neymar is there. Knocked down by Kylian Mbappe. And Neymar scores. And you can't help but think that they would have made the difference in the velodrome in the last game as well. Just got that touch on it. And Neymar's on hand to lash it home. And that should, that should be it. That should really, at home, that should see us into the final. I mean, I know we're only half an hour in, but PSG 2-0 up at home. That's, you, you can't be letting that go. Leon are in the game though. I mean, they'll feel like they should be, you know, they'll feel 2-0 is harsh, I think. We're clawing the possession back a little bit. Right, it's half time. Can't remember who the we'll have a look. I can't remember who the other who who the other um semi finals is. Um it might be Ogs it might be Ozaire. I've got a feeling it's Marseille, but we'll have a look after the game. Um and in fact we'll probably assuming that we uh we don't this one up, we will probably uh probably just have a quick look to see who we're gonna play in the final. Uh, Verratti is looking tired. He's going to have to come off. We'll do that now. Herrera's picked up a... a uh, I'll put Xavi Simons on and then move them around. Uh, Hand Herrera. Okay, we'll protect him. He's got a yellow card. I'm going to get very twitchy if they score here. Not with a pass like that, though. Here's Simons. Oh, I thought that was a good ball through. Asensio, Simons, Simon, Simons, however you pronounce it. Here's Ricardo. Plays it across. Oh, surely. They just left it for each other there. Any one of them could have put it away. And that is the final. Guaranteed now. It's Asensio that does put it away, but I mean... Neymar could have scored that. Mbappe technically is offside. So I'm kind of surprised it was given. Um, I'm going to give Icardi the final 20 minutes. Just because he hasn't played for a little while. And I was going to start him, but then Kylian Mbappe returned to training. And I just don't want to blow Mbappe out because, he's, you know, he's he's been out for couple of weeks I think Neymar wasn't out for that long I don't think it probably the other way around now I said that but Neymar actually was very unselfish there wasn't he letting Asensio get that goal because <laughs> he was on a hat-trick uh, I am gonna as we oh I was just about to drop a praise in I'm gonna do it anyway even though we're probably about to concede now Poulsen's headed over Maybe Neymar still will get the hat-trick as we tick over towards stoppage time. Simons. Oh, Neymar is in. And he does have the hat-trick. He knew it was coming. That's why he let Asensio score the third. He knew he was getting a hat-trick. And it's Xavi Simons with the ball through. And that avenges a lot of things, to be honest. Not only last season's Coupe de France semi-final defeat on penalties, but also... The 1-0 defeat in the league earlier in the season as well. This has laid a few demons to rest. And Asensio gets right under that and heads over. In the end, satisfactory, but I won't get too carried away. I mean, it is Leon, to be fair. They are top of the league. And we've battered them. Oh, and Kalor Navas. Super, super save. Super save. He wants that clean sheet. And he's made another save. And I mean, we're 90 seconds past 
the stoppage time here. And I know it's a minimum. But still. There we go. Come on. Are we going to watch? Are we going to see that amazing save from Jeffrey in Adelaide? What a save from Kaylor Navas! Outstanding, sir. Very pleased. Very, very pleased. Well done, Mr. Junior. You did well. Into the final, then. Let's see. I can't remember who it is. Yeah, they can have the day off. Who is it? The other one. Oh, it's Mar Marseille against Clem on foot. Of course it is. Um, it's going to be Marseille. There's no point even looking at that. There is no point even looking at that. Have we any injury worries? No. Getting serious money now. Nearly 600 grand for winning that. Right, I don't actually know when, the, when is the Coupe de France final. 22nd of April. 22nd of April. Down here when we have... Oh, yeah, it's, look, it's put it in there now. Um, oh, that's going to... That is... Is that going to interfere with the Champions League? I wonder. Could be a couple of episodes in quick succession then, guys. Um... Yeah, it, it will be either Champions League or Coupe de France final or a little bit of a mix and match in the next episode. So I've got quite a few games to knock out first. But I hope you will join me for the next episode. As always, smash a like on this one, subscribe, turn on those notifications and jump in the comments and let me know what is uh, what are your plans for FM22. And I will see you for the next episode very soon. Thank you, as always, for watching. See you soon.